Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm going to be trying out some new foundation. Um, so I went to Sephora the other day and I purchased it. Um, and I'm so excited to try this because the hype on this foundation is somewhat good and a lot of people are like really finding their foundations. I'm always on the hunt to find a foundation that I don't have to mix because it's one, it's cheaper for me, two, it looks good on the skin, especially when you have good undertone that matches the foundation. It's like, I hate walking around knowing that my neck and my chest is not matching my face because it look like I put a mask of makeup on. So I always try to find different foundations that I know for sure that I can really say matches my skin. So far, the foundations that I have, like Maybelline, um, MAC, also um, LA Colors, um, what other foundation do I have? Makeup Forever. Um, Fenty is not really matching my skin, really, really, like with one foundation. Y'all know I have to mix 370 and 390, so um, I can't put Fenty on this list of foundations that are my perfect tone to where I don't have to mix, but um, I'm hoping I can add this as my fifth foundation that fits my skin tone. When I watched Jackie Ina's um, video, she said you can compare this to the um, the Maybelline Fit Me 335 Toffee. Um, so I also made sure I got color matched in Sephora. I think this might look like my skin. Um, the only thing I didn't care for was Sephora's light. Y'all know I talk about Sephora's lighting all the time. And for some reason, their lighting was not making this foundation look like it was my skin tone. Nor did it make my NARS foundation look like it was my skin tone. Um, the MAC foundation, when I was in MAC, it didn't make it really look like it was my skin tone until I got home and looked in my lighting at home and, and not being in light, maybe like just looking in the mirror with just natural, um, I mean with just light, light bulb lighting, like the yellow lights. Um, or just any lighting, like when I'm sitting in my car and I'm looking in my um, visor. So I hate really color matching in Sephora because Sephora lighting makes everything like suck. Um, one of the mirrors she did help me try because I told her I don't like the lighting in there and she helped me try another mirror in there. And that mirror that wasn't really under a lot of lights that was on the ceiling, um, it made this foundation look like it was my exact skin tone. So that's why I walked out of the store with it. Okay, so if y'all can see, this is Maybelline Fit Me in 330 Toffee, and then this is Born This Way in Butter Pecan. As you can see, this one has more of a really, really orangey undertone. Um, it's really, really golden, which I don't really care for, but um, when it dries down, you guys will see how it, how it really looks close to my skin tone. The Maybelline Fit Me Foundation is so perfect to my undertone, like, I can't even, like, just deny it. Like, it just really, really, really is. Just like my MAC NC46. Um, these foundations match perfect to my undertone. And also my Makeup Forever, um, I believe I'm in Y, I'm in 445, 445. If I'm wrong, I'm going to still link it down below. And I'll also link down below all the foundations that I mentioned earlier. That are my skin tone. So I don't really care for swatches um, because you have to really understand. You have to kind of blend it in a little bit. But now that you see that it's that I'm blending it in and I'm kind of um, doing what I would do. Applying my foundation means I will use my beauty blender um, to blend it in. You can see it's now starting to really dry down to my skin tone right now in the summer i've been in the sun a lot so um 330 toffee is a little tad bit too light but this butter pecan when it dries down y'all gonna see how it kind of just disappears in my skin so See how this one just kind of just warmed up perfectly to my skin tone. At first it didn't look like it, so don't go by, don't go by swatches, especially when you want to purchase this foundation, don't go by swatches. Um, make sure you blend it in really good to your skin, let it dry down, and then see if it's your, um, if it's your color or not. I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation on, 
and let you guys see me doing it. I'm not gonna like skip through this part or anything because of course, um, like me, I go to YouTube when I'm purchasing different foundations and I try to find people that is my same skin tone. So I like to see them actually applying the application or whatever. So, um, and then I like to see it dry down. I like to see all that process because that's what helps me in purchasing things that I really um, want to get. So not just some swatches and be like, oh, or somebody's word. I like to actually see the process go down. So. I had to take my softbox lights down that I just bought because, um, like I said, I'm in my parents' house and I'm using their electricity and all their stuff. And one of my light bulbs on my softbox lights blew out right in the middle of me using it. And I got kind of nervous because I'm like, you know what? Either it was a defect in my softbox lights that I bought from Amazon, which I'm gonna research that and find out if it was, because it's going back. And, <laughs> I have my umbrella lights, natural lighting, and then I may or may not keep my ring light on. I'm not sure. I'm just, each time I'm recording here in my new space, I'm trying to test out different lighting. Right now, it's like thundering and lightning and stuff, and then the sun is peeking through in and out. So, I really like this soft effect that the clouds are giving me. But, you know, with natural lighting, you got to get what you can get. Uh, whatever it's offering so also guys by the end of today um, I'm actually posting this video the same day that I'm doing it but just to let you guys know I am picking a winner today for the Colourpop um, the Colourpop and Shayla collection so you guys stay tuned to Instagram if you entered the giveaway Make sure you check out Instagram before midnight today. I'm going to be announcing the winner. So let me know. I might do a bonus winner. Um, you won't be winning. The bonus winner won't be winning a um, collab package. But they will be winning something else. So don't think I'm just picking one person. I never do. I want to show you guys how much I really love and appreciate y'all's support because it means the world to me for me to be doing something completely opposite than what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I really love this. This is my passion. Okay, I don't play around with pumps. I don't like to test out one, two, three, four, five pumps. I like just putting the foundation on and going. So. And don't pay attention to how it looks right now because like I told y'all, y'all just saw when I put the swatches on, it looked like this. Um, Cause I kind of freaked out too whenever I first put this foundation on. But once it dries down and you blend it out really good, it's gonna warm up to the skin, to your skin. And it's not gonna look quite like this. The Fenty foundation does the same thing to me. Like it looks completely off until it dries down and I blend it out, so. reviews that I saw like watching people try on this foundation I was like ooh like they said oh yeah this is my skin tone when I be looking I'm like no it's not <laughs> but whenever it dried down I'm like okay okay yeah it is and I really get scared of foundation that has a really rich orange or gold undertone because it reminds me of my MAC NC45 foundation that I really hated Alright, now we wait. Look, this one is not quite my undertone. Um, um, right off the bat, I can tell, like, if this does not really dry down, and I mean, like, from the lighting that I'm surrounded in, if this doesn't get down to my skin tone, this foundation is going back, and I'm not up to um, mixing foundation this time around, like, I'm not doing it <laughs> if I have to mix it I'm not getting it um, because foundation is expensive y'all know and ain't nobody got time for that I did that with Fenty because I really liked it but um, that was a lot of money undertone it's too orangey 
And when I was in Sephora, like I said, this was the only time that I put this foundation on. She showed me a few different mirrors. I stayed in there and I let it dry. And I didn't like how it looked in some of the mirrors and the lighting. She brought me to this one mirror where I was like, I can still tell it's a little bit off, but what foundation ain't? Um, and so it was just kind of like, let me take it home, play with it, try it, and see what happens from there. So, um, it's kind of looking like it's getting down just a little bit. Um, it's trying to catch up to my skin tone, but I think I need to go ahead and um, just kind of see how it looks with my full face done. And then I'll be able to tell you guys my true thoughts and how I feel. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this process. Kind of come up like this and just kind of turn to the side. I don't know. It looks like it's trying to catch up and warm up to my skin, but it ain't doing it fast enough for me. So let's go ahead and just continue doing my makeup and let's see how this goes. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like the foundation, don't get me wrong, I love the foundation, I love how it looks on my skin, I love how not, it doesn't look too dewy, but it doesn't look too matte. Okay y'all, another thing I also bought from the Born This Way collection, sorry, um, I was thinking about going and getting the one that, um, the lightest one I was thinking about going to get, so... Just setting it in these areas where I bronze. Okay, so now we're just going to, I'm gonna just go ahead and just finish the rest of my face, come back on here and like really tell y'all what I feel about the foundation. Overall, the foundation is a really good formula. It's really lightweight, it's really smooth. Um, I don't really feel like I have a lot of foundation on, um, even though I use quite a bit of it. But the only thing is, it does not match my skin tone the way that I want it to. The same thing that I talked about at the beginning of the video about me not liking how I feel like I have a mask of makeup on. Because meaning that it, you can tell from here up that it's not the same color with the rest of my, my chest. So I am going to go back to Sephora today actually, um, I think I'm going to go back here shortly when I get done editing and posting this video because I really want to come on here and really really like this foundation. I'm not mixing like I told y'all but I am going to make sure that before I give up on this foundation I want to make sure that there's another color out there for me because I've been seeing so many good reviews about people finding their color. Um, and I really want to be one of those people that find their color in this foundation because I really, 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 really think that I'm going to really love this foundation. Um, so it says um, it's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid. Um, it's supposed to be hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, non comedogenic, whatever that means. Um, and it's said to help blur out imperfections. Um, the foundation is made to look skin like all of this stuff that they saying that the foundation is supposed to do I really feel that and that's why I really want to give this foundation another try with color matching because I really 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 love this foundation like the formula is the formula that I love with foundations like I love not feeling like I have anything on my face except for lashes like I really wish they can come out with lashes where you can't feel like you have them on but they on you know what I mean but yeah wishful thinking <laughs> um and then this here um it says it's infused with coconut water the same ingredients and it's saying that it's lightweight photo friendly um and um the foundation you get one fluid ounce of foundation and then on here you get 17 grams of product in here so I really think this foundation has quite a bit of product in it. Like I love how the glass is frosty. I love how um, bulky it is. Um, and it kind of reminds me of my Forever um, Makeup Forever foundation bottle, um, which I really, really love. And I love foundations that have that frosted um, container. 
Um, not so much when you're trying to color match just by looking at the bottle because it doesn't really give you the proper um, color. But I do love this foundation. I really love Jackie Ina. I love supporting her. I love Too Faced. Um, most of their products. I haven't really tried a lot of their products, but I really, I never really um, had anything bad to say about Too Faced um, or any bad thoughts about Too Faced. So I really like them. Um, but I really like how my foundation ended up turning out with everything on. But then again, I don't want a foundation where you have to build and put on bronze and highlight and and really go in and perfect things to make it look okay knowing that if you wouldn't put none of that on you wouldn't care for the foundation it's a waste of money um and with this foundation i believe i spent let me see how much i spent 39 dollars not bad bad because i have foundations that cost more than that but it's expensive enough to where i don't want to spend 80 dollars mixing foundation so and it's enough to where i don't want to feel like I don't like it and I have to put all these products on on top of it to make it look right or to correct it you know what I mean like what's the point of putting a foundation on what's the point of spending $39 if you can't put it on and like it by itself you know what I mean that's what I look for in foundation I look for foundations where it's cute by itself not cute when you do all kind of stuff to it because even in this section right here I don't know if you can tell but it's still you know Mm -mm. but yeah so the color match is not gonna change my thoughts on this foundation because I really really like it if you can go out and find this foundation please do please if you are Jackie I am a supporter go support her she has a link under there I didn't know about that link before I uh, purchased this foundation from the store because I saw her video the day after I bought this foundation but if I would have known that if you go through her link on her underneath her YouTube channel where she talked about this foundation, she um, you'll help support her because she did help create the extra shades. Um, I didn't. I thought at first. I thought whenever she created these foundations, I thought she created the whole line. But she made it clear that she didn't do the whole thing. She just helped add on those in um, those. I think it was eight or nine shades to help make the brand more inclusive. So to more variety of women. So um, I really, really in love that because I love seeing women of color. I love seeing all all races, all aspects of life, like all all genders. I like seeing people break certain barriers and try to take their culture one step closer to being great. So um, I'm really all for that, empowering people, empowering women, empowering men, empowering ra all races. I'm empowered with all of that. But because I'm African American and I know the struggle um, that most of us face, I really, really love that anytime that it's anything going on that helps support my community, I really, really love. So um, I'm all for empowering and support and all of that good stuff. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this foundation. Please be honest and tell me what this color look like. I'm taking it back anyway, but... <laughs> I would like to know that I'm not the only one tripping with this color match. So, um, yeah, until next time, I love y'all and I'll see y'all in another video. Remember, I'm posting the winner tonight on Instagram before midnight. So make sure if you entered the giveaway that you are following me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to be posting it on Twitter. Um, I thought about posting it on Twitter too, but I don't have a lot of followers on Twitter. Um, and actually, I don't really know how to operate Twitter. Um, I might post it on snapchat as well. Yeah, I'll post it on snapchat as well because I have a lot of followers on snapchat as well So snapchat and Instagram make sure you follow me on both of those um, Social media platforms because I'm gonna be posting the winner of the Shayla times Colourpop collaboration and then also I'm going to be picking a bonus winner. That's not gonna be winning the um, the package but you're gonna be winning um, other items so make sure you stay tuned for that make sure you follow me on instagram and snapchat until and next time i love y'all and i'll see y'all in another video make sure you like comment and subscribe bye